Okay, as you can see, I have done some work off camera, and as you can hear, I have a, a new microphone adapter for my headset finally. So, let's crack on with today's episode of Basingstoke here in City Bus Manager. Yes, hello boys, girls, and all of us in between. My name is Michaela, and as you can see on the side of the screen here, we are coming back into City Bus Manager today with a new route uh, already pre-installed. So off camera, I have installed a new route, the 99. So before we hit play and uh, assign it some vehicles for today, let me show you the route. So it starts here at Basingstoke Bus Station, comes around this way, and then it goes along the same road as the... Uh, the 903 does now, of course this was the 900, in the opposite direction, and then up and onto this A road. This is a rather awkward shape that it makes here, but we'll, we'll, we'll avoid that. Um, it then comes down the main road, paralleling at this point the 101, of course, um, and then down through here until it reaches the junction just here. It then turns off and heads down another main road into the first area, North Warnborough, which we did point out in the previous episode, and then it reaches Odoham. Please ignore the fact that there is the open top bus here that might have gone out on that charter run for the school, my bad. And it just terminates at the moment in Odoham, but what I'm thinking is, because in theory, in this direction is Farnham, and so this service will eventually extend to Farnham. Now today we're not going to be extending in that direction, we will do eventually, but I'm going to extend Oh, no, we will be, sorry. But we have got one map expansion which will be finished researching soon, which should just finish off most of Reading. And I unfortunately accidentally found out that we will be unlocking the station next. Now, one thing I noticed with the current fleet allocations, or was thinking about, was that we currently have every route assigned a vehicle type, which is kind of cool, but then the midi buses we have sort of just anything. So I'm thinking what we're going to do is eventually, maybe in today's episode, but I do want to address something else first before we do that, um, we will be looking at potentially increasing um, or changing the way we've done the layouts of the vehicle grouping, so we actually have the groups be more specific, to, less specific, sorry, to the vehicle type and more to the vehicle size. But we'll come back to that in a moment. Now, for now, what we're going to use on a 99 is just the steams, but I do have a big plan for this route. We're going to be using a bus that hasn't actually come to the UK yet, but that we will be um, utilising in this save for the route, as I just unlocked it with the latest research. But here we are, the operation uh, area, the operational area is now expanding. Hopefully it shouldn't take too long. I'm hoping it won't, but it might do. So this might get cut out. Okay, so bringing it back, let's have a look what we unlocked in Reading. I do believe we should have Reading Station now. We do. Brilliant. So what I'm going to be doing is uh, introducing uh, the 100 finally, which I will probably do off camera. We might do it in today's episode. We're going to see how much time we have. So let's leave the, nine, uh, the new 99 to run with a steam. So what was I going to address? Well, recently I was looking at buses coming out of here. And if we watch this 907 here, which uses streetlights currently, this is seeming to get super, super busy. Um, now, there is two solutions here. We could just change the vehicle type, but I think what we're actually going to do is, because it's mainly this section as well, um, we are going to just uh, introduce a new timetable for the route. I'm also going to change that there because that's going to annoy the absolute heck out of me. Edit route. Um, where's Brighton Hill Retail Park? Just there. Please do not do that round the roundabout because that just looks really strange. Right, we're going to do that and we're going to introduce a new, more frequent timetable and we're going to buy some more street lights. So it's currently running an hourly frequency. We're going to run it every 30 minutes and just see if this increases or, sorry, lowers down the uh, the issues we're having here where the buses are just taking quite a while. Um, and then what we're going to do is it will be running to... We will rename one of the stops. So I'm also going to have to pick terminus stops and name them what I want the display to say on the bus. So that is another thing we have to look at as well. But now, from tomorrow, we do need more streetlights. We are making enough money each day, so we should have enough money t for tomorrow. Let's just see what else we have to assign. We have to assign some more nine... Uh, some more 99s. Let's put, um, let's just put that Satara on the evening. Uh, bus drivers automatically, and then I guess we'll put an Avora out on the other one. Just, just to mix it up a bit. Let's just see how those steams are coping on there. Um, I'm, I don't want, don't want to assume so, but I don't know if they'll do too bad to be honest. I'm just not sure how popular this route will be, um, and I'll next show you the type we're going to be using for this route. But we are going to be addressing. Um, for the main part, we are going to be addressing um, capacity issues on our routes. Um, as I did notice, 907 is not the, the 907 is not the only route to be struggling. Okay, so currently this route is not super busy. However, it might be more busy past here and coming out this way because, of course, we are in the, the afternoon here. I don't know. Um, you need a break. Uh, yeah, fluid epidemic's gone, so that's fine. 
think that was the save. Either way, there's no epidemic or anything going on. But yeah, as you can see, so it comes in this way. And I just now have to rename these stops as well. So, right, that seems to be coping. Let's just see what other routes need capacity is addressing before we buy the new type. Um, we do have the H1. Now, that we can't really change because we can't change the frequency of the route. It seems to be okay with the Avora. Um, I think potentially maybe we should have used a bigger bus, but it seems to be okay. So we'll, we'll leave that for now. The 99 we just put in, the 101's doing fine. That's actually not making enough passengers, if anything. Um, so we might even drop that down. It seems to be getting less popular as time goes on, but we are putting more routes around it, so maybe that's why. Maybe the 101 will be expanded, changed. We'll see. We've already redone the 101 once before. So maybe we're redoing it for a second time. We shall have to see. 102, that's fine. Maybe even drop that down from... Tataros to something else. 103 and 103A, we've already sorted that. The 104 is fine. The 105, and these are all okay. The 106 really isn't that popular yet, but we are extending that soon, and I'll explain more about that in a minute. The 110, I need to move. I think I've already moved that, actually, didn't I? Um, I just don't know if I've moved all the. Yeah, I've moved it all. Unknown caller. Can I buy the ALX 400? Yes, because we need to get the new model anyway, so there we go. Um, perfect. We'll probably leave that in the fleet list because I'm going to hopefully get the new ALX soon. Um, but we'll see. Uh, where was I? Any 500 series routes needs addressing? The 500 is a little bit busy. So maybe... Oh, yeah. Maybe that could do with a... That's running every 15 minutes. No, it's running every hour. Okay, so we could increase the timetable on that then. That's one route we could do. And then we will use more Enviro 210 meters, actually. So that's good. Um, I need to change the displays on those before I forget. If I haven't already. 503 is doing okay. Uh, maybe a little bit of a frequency increase on that. That could be good. So maybe a, maybe a half hourly on the 503 and the 502, was it? I forgot what it was. No, the 501. No, the 500. Yeah. So the 500 and the 503 need a frequency increase. So let's do the 500 first. Uh, edit timetable. Every 30 minutes. Every 30 minutes. The route takes 31 minutes, which is a little bit awkward. But what we'll do then, we'll make it wait. Not there. Oh, it takes 31 minutes to get to the end. Okay. Or if we just make it wait longer at the leisure park to 20. No, we'll do it till 15, it's fine. Um, every 30 minutes coming back, every 30 minutes back as well. Uh, again, no, not there. And then at the park and ride till 20, that's perfect. So it takes 58 in total. So with a half hourly frequency, it will need two buses. Uh, not there. Oh, in the evenings, yeah, I forgot we skipped the, uh, the retail park there, that's fine. Uh, 30 minutes, just to get rid of all these weird terminus points. Okay, 30 minutes there. And then every hour on the weekends. Every hour on the weekends. Brilliant. And that's that on Sundays even, sorry. Confirm that. So that will roll out from tomorrow. And then edit timetable on this as well, uh, the 503. Just go down to every 30 minutes as well. And just take off weird terminus points. Now, I, I know I'm not saying what the new type is. You'll have seen it in the thumbnail, so obviously that's a point. Um, but I don't know if you can make it out in the thumbnail, so that also is a point. I'll see what screenshot I end up getting that I like. Um, but yeah, so in theory, actually, could we make the last run be every do every 60 minutes? Or would that be weird? What does that look like? So, 2019 will become the 20... Yeah, no, we do need... In fact, that's a point. That should run to 2030 now. Didn't think I need to check that on the other one, actually. So if that runs to 2030 now, then the 24th line becomes 2100. The 2119, yeah, so we would need that to... Yeah, that's fine. Um, so last run's 30 minutes. Check that on the 500 as well because that probably has a weird gap now. Uh, 20 30, good, and then every hour on the uh, the weekends. There, I didn't check on these actually as well about the uh, terminus things or destination ticks. Yeah, that's good. And uh, let's check this one. Nope. 
Okay, and then inbound. Look at that. Every 60 minutes. Very good. Confirm. Now I will do. Someone did mention this. They want a time, uh, a tutorial on how to do the timetables like this. I will mention those. Uh, that's fine now because yeah. Okay, perfect. Confirm that. Those will run out. From, now we're going to need more buses for tomorrow now. But before we do that, let me show you what I want to buy. So go to buy new bus. We're going to buy just one to start the fleet off, and we'll slowly roll them out. So what we need is they are electric. So we'll place down some electric charging points just here. We'll do three for now. We'll probably put more in at the moment. Buy new bus, solo buses, and here is the bus I want to use. So we're going to put this into a new group. Now we're going to name this something different because um, we are going to be just doing routes. So this will be the Route 99 uh, for now. And it will be the 104 group, I believe that is. I think we've done 103 now. No, 101. So it'll be the 102. 102 route 99 and there we go let's just check that's right 102 no it's 103 brilliant manage vehicle groups 103 brilliant there we go 103 route 99 the custom denning element too now this has not reached the uk yet now one other thing as well in real life this is a window however i don't like the, the black on there it looks really weird i'll show you actually on one minute <coughs> Because of how windows work in this game, it doesn't look like a window. So if I show you, if I change this to white, it looks really weird just seeing a black bit there. Now, I could change that potentially and have the outline, uh, the color of the, the roof. But for now, what I've done, um, maybe I will change this, is done this. But yeah, so this is a model made in Australia. And um, it will be coming to the UK market very soon. It is now available for people to purchase, for companies to purchase. However, there isn't actually any on the road yet. And I do really like the design of it. So I thought this would be the perfect vehicle to utilise on our new Route 99. So, of course, I've just given it the current green uh, buses livery. We'll put this over here. And these aren't coming to... Well, these are available in the market now. So we could be the first customer, potentially. Uh, so we could make this one a 73 plate. Maybe we will do. Um, but what we are going to do is make it 4201 in the fleet. Now, I don't know if these have displays and stuff set up yet. They don't, but we will just lay this out. Oh, the display's set up, but the, the fleet numbers and the fresh plates aren't. Don't ask me why. Now, we have no idea what the plates will be for these, so we're going to pretend that they were registered nearby. So I'm just going to quickly look up DVLA. No. Registration. Number. That is... One minute while I wait for the uh, computer to catch up with me. Reg number letters. Okay. Um. Here we go. Trying to look now. So. So, in theory, let's have a look. Where would it have been registered? Hampshire, Dorset, or an Isle of Wight? So, Bournemouth, Portsmouth. Uh, okay. Northampton, unofficial. Okay. Reading, there we go. Uh, R, so R A, R E, R D, stuff like that. Um, so, if we make these RX vehicles, so RX 72, no, 73, sorry. Um, YMN. There we go. No, YMA. Go on, because it'll be the beginning of a batch, because we are, of course, the first customer for it. So, YX, RX73 YMA will be our first one. RX73 uh, YMA 2024. That'll be the very beginning of the year. Custom Denning Element 2. And we'll just put that there. There we go. So, we'll get some more of these as time goes on, but this will be, of course, the beginning of the route. And what we're going to do now is assign the esteems here um, just to that route grouping for now. Um, so we can at least get tomorrow's day going. So what we actually want to do is look at... Um, so my buses, solo buses. Let's just go to our esteems. Uh, let's go by fleet number. Route 99. And we'll slowly roll out the uh, electrics on there. Um, now we probably will have to put charging points at each end of the route but we'll just put these into that group for now 
I'm going to upgrade our esteems as well, and we're going to bring those up to use for modern, for, for a current route. So if we go to tomorrow's shift schedule, we're just going to see what we are short on. So we need more Sotaros, um, more midi buses, longer midi buses, and a variety of 110 meters. So we went from having too many of those to needing more. That's fine, we can of course buy more of these. Now this is where we're going to have the route groups change, so we'll come back to that shortly. Uh, no, actually we'll do that now. So, what are we going to do here then? So these we want in their own group because they take 63 passengers. And then nothing else really does that sort of level of passengers. I mean the metro cities do technically. So maybe that's a point. So if we go manage vehicle groups. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a new group. So they're going to be seven, uh, yeah, 70 to 80 passengers. 60 to 70 passengers. This is what we're going to group our stuff as now. 80 plus passengers. Uh, shorter deckers. And longer deckers. Now I know these groups are all confusing now, but it's fine. We're just going to label them like this. So, uh, one, two, Three, four, five, and then six. We're going to have in this one will be um, coaches, and then seven and eight will be so generic. Midi buses. And we're just going to have the midi buses all be in one group again. I did it initially, so we're going to delete all the other groups here. So, um, mini buses, yeah, that's a point. So, eight mini buses. Then the spares will be um, 99. The 102 will be. The, the route 911 will be. Where's, where's, uh, oh, did I change the wrong group there? I might have changed. Did I change? <coughs> I think I changed the group for the uh, 103 and 103A, which we of course want to keep. So let me just check that. Oh no, I didn't. Where did that go? I don't know. Oh, the 101's there. Then where's the. That's weird. Why is that up here? Anyway. Um. That's fine. Um. 98 will be spare deckers. 97 will be open tops. Not that we really use open tops, and we might be selling that off. And then metro cities can go, street lights can go. And then I'll quickly go through and change all the routes and stuff, which we'll of course do together. Uh, 101, 103, 103A. Longer mini buses can go. Coaches, we've just changed this. Scrap the other coaches group then. No, we'll we'll scrap that one and we'll put those coaches in there. Good. Uh, oh, that's an idea. Yeah, we should do that really. So what we should actually do is then have we have this be eight. Um, we'll change this to uh, electrics seventy to eighty passengers. Nine electrics, eighty to ninety passengers, and then ten electrics, deckers. Now the Plaxton Centros I do kind of want to keep separate, really, um, but we won't necessarily do that. We'll just have those be used at our depot, so we'll scrap that. And then, of course, the one hundred three group for the 99 which we have just made now i'm going to quickly go through and i'm going to do the entire fleet again so we're going to start doing that now we'll do a little time lapse of this so this will be under um what we actually do we need one more group as well heritage uh, so we'll just make 100 heritage heritage fleet i'm not copying joe uh, joe dobson there i just do think that this being a spares vehicle is a little bit odd this should be under heritage fleet really now where's they come up they come up at the top that is a little annoying actually Right, let me change those again.
Right, there we go. So, perfect. Okay, let's work our way through this. So, Melostratus will be... So, this is a normal Melostratus, so it'll be under minibuses, which I... Did I just then get rid of minibuses completely? Am I stupid? Good job, me. Okay, let's manage vehicle groups again. I'll get this right eventually. Where's 8? Eight? 8 will become 9. No, that can be 8 actually, yeah, and then minibuses can be under 11. Now we will potentially be getting more minibuses in the fleet, depends on the need for them. These will be basing to bear, which I didn't do, so that will be 104 now. <laughs> Right, okie dokie, so we've reassigned all the groups and we've assigned all the routes to their new groups. So if we go from tomorrow onwards, we should see how many buses we actually need. We need, whoa, we need quite a bit, but it's fine. We can actually invest now in some like variety of stuff, which I think will be interesting. And if we go to long water depot, I think this should just add up fine. Oh, what? Oh, I set the 110 up wrong, that's why. Uh, routes, I remembered. I forgot to change that. So I've 
done the 110, it's got its own group. Uh, we will eventually be branding up the uh, Metro Cities. It's another thing on the to-do list. Uh, it's one of those root brands I do want to introduce. Uh, and the 110 itself will also potentially be extended as well into uh, Reading. Um, Reading is going to include a lot of extensions, so I'm hoping that that will be interesting when we actually do that. So long water depot tomorrow, assigned bus drivers. Boom. So that one does add up. We actually have one extra uh, metro city, so we could even change this one to just 60 to 70 passengers and assigned buses. And then this one could be used as a spare alongside the... Um, any buses that we get at that size. At the moment it's just a spare bus. We could bring that back to this depot in fact. That might be a good idea actually. Should we do that? Let's quickly go to Longwater Depot, go to that Metro City and Depot Basingstoke. So that'll come back to Basingstoke after it's done its day out. So what I also did was change one more route. The 902 was also struggling with capacity. So from tomorrow the 902 is running at half hourly as well. Okay, so that should do it. Um, between episodes, of course, I will be buying plenty of buses for the Basingstoke Depot to fill these gaps. But other than that, I've been Lucy Michaela. Uh, this has been City Bus Manager here in Basingstoke. And uh, yeah, I shall see you next time. See you all later. And goodbye.